Potential students often ask about the hand tools or tools are, that are needed to repair appliances. Now, uh, over the last 40 years, I've um, evolved my own personal methods for what tools I carry, and I want to acquaint you with my choices. Now, uh, there are a couple of ways to go about this. You can start off like this uh, with a couple thousand dollar tool case, first class stuff, snap on. As you can see, that's pretty nice. Uh, get the snap on man to stop by every week and get you some tools. Typical automobile mechanic spends maybe 20, 30 grand on a set of tools. You know, this is my own uh, automobile set. But the appliance business is not like this. This is all I carry into the house when I repair appliances. And you may be amazed to learn that this simple little leather tool kit will fix three quarters, if not more, of all that you're going to see in a house. So let's take it piece by piece and start with the most popular, your favorite tools, and go to the uh, oddballs last. These two guys are going to be your heavy users. The Phillips tip long shank screwdriver and the flat standard screwdriver. These are not even snap-on tools. They're just high-quality tools. Your next most favorite are going to be the quarter-inch nut driver and the 5 16 nut driver. Those four will take care of an awful, awful lot of repairs with these two guys thrown in on newer stuff, particularly the imported stuff. These are Torx drivers, a 20 and a 15. They have their little uh, Torx tips on them. Next most popular are insulated uh, cutters and needle nose pliers. Pretty much so far it should be stuff that most uh, homeowners are familiar with except perhaps the Torx. Now this is uh, your channel lock pliers. These are fairly large size. Universal for pipes, bolts, anything. Uh, these are a well-worn set that I've used for decades. This would be your friend, your uh, amp meter, I mean not amp meter, your uh, voltmeter and ohm meter. This does come with the kit as a, one of the components of the tool and part kit. Now we're starting getting into the little lesser used stuff. A little WD-40 in the kit is very handy. The two stubby quarter and five sixteenths, a stubby Phillips and a stubby straight. You find yourself in tight circumstances occasionally where you may need those, particularly on the... Um, refrigerator condenser fan motors you need the stubby Phillips I mean the well the stubby Phillips but these guys adjustable open end wrench very helpful in many cases when you don't feel like going out to your truck and getting uh, any kind of a, a drive socket now this is a little bit of a raggedy tool. It's been around a long time, but that's a tool that's a wire stripper and crimper. And a medium Phillips it comes in occasionally, often enough that I do carry it into the house. Now we're into just the handy oddball stuff. Electrical tape, thermostat for dryers and refrigerators, a razor knife, and a piece of wire for jumping ice makers and just a little hunk of junk wire that you need occasionally. Cable ties come in very handy for lots of purposes. Many mechanics uh, carry a standard tool kit like you see here. I gave it up years ago because they tend to get heavier as the months go by as you put more junk in them and you just get tired faster. So my preference is this style. That way it starts getting full of junk. You've got to empty it and th throw the junk in the truck or throw it away. 
couple of other things that are very helpful is I religiously use a knee pad. I've gotten old and I want my knees to last. And a trouble light. This is a rough service bulb and nice worn flexible extension cord for getting underneath equipment and looking around. Um, it's much better than a flashlight and the fluorescent ones, at least in my opinion. Clipboard. You want to collect your money. Invoice. Place to keep things nice and neat and tidy. Your refrigerator magnets. This one's uh, old timer I've used for more years than I want to remember. Now here's a picture of me a few years back. You see you can carry a clipboard, your toolkit, knee pad, and trouble light all on one arm. Knock on the door, open the door, shake hands, whatever. You're all set to go. This is the easy, fast way to do it. And it's just very efficient, very lightweight, and it's not very tiring.